my keys. Harold, it's eight o'clock in the morning. Yeah? Gee, I'm running a little bit fast. Hey, look, I am just trying to get ready for work now. Uh, would you please move? Yeah, how's this? Okay, what do you want? Well, I'll tell you. This latest little scheme of yours really takes the cake. Wait a minute, I gotta take that back. Kingsley has run out of cakes for you, Nancy. What on earth are you talking about? Extortion. You're trying to extort money from the Redlands. It's not gonna work. <laughs> Extortion? That's the silliest thing I ever heard of, even from you. Silliest thing you ever heard of. I thought you'd come up with something like that. So what did you bother to accuse me of something so... Well, what'd you say it was? Extortion. Well, I don't even know what it means, so how could I have done it? You don't have to know what it means to engage in it, Nancy. You're natural. I'm just warning you, leave the Redlands alone. I make a point of leaving the Redlands alone. Well, you failed pretty miserably at that yesterday, didn't you? See, I was over at the Redlands. Carla told me all about your visit. She also told me about the thousand dollars you tried to get her to give you in exchange for your cooperation. Persuasion money, I believe you called it. It's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. I agree. So why don't you just lay off the Redlands? Look, I resent you waltzing in here at the crack of dawn and calling me a liar. I came over here to tell you you're an extortionist. There's a difference. Look it up. I'm not going to look it up. You look it up. Look, I don't go down to the Redlands house, and I certainly don't even go in that neighborhood. I could get mugged there. Right. The other thing I came over here to tell you was uh, what you can expect over the next couple of weeks, just so you can be prepared. Have you got a copy of the court order yet? No. Well, you'll get one. And it's going to say that this house here has got to go to auction. Now, the uh, Redlands are going to bid on it, and uh, they'll probably buy the house. So if uh, you haven't already made arrangements to move, you should. Well, I don't think there's any need for that right away. I may have something that may disappoint all of you. Oh, really? And what would that be? I may just buy the half of the house myself, Terry's half. Nancy, you are getting harder and harder for me to take seriously. Look, Webster, I have sources that you don't even know about. People who can buy and sell you a hundred times over. Who? I think that's about all for today, so would you please leave so I can get some work done? Yeah, sure. Just one, one more thing. What? This time it's for real, Nancy. Court order, sale, everything. I remember one time before you were escorted by the police out of this house. I'm warning you, Nancy, it can happen again. Only this time, nobody's gonna feel sorry for you. Nobody's gonna fall for your hard luck stories or any of your schemes. So if you're planning on coming down with some kind of phony disease or accident or anything, just forget it. Get lost, will you? Get lost! I'm gone. Oh, uh, thank you for your time. I think this is the same person. Well, uh, maybe she got married. I'm trying to remember. Goodness, have we seen that many people in this clinic? Oh, ben will know. He'll remember treating her. Mm -hmm. Good morning! Well, now, who was that? Well, that's Lucille Figgins, the nurse I was telling you about. Oh. Huh. Good morning, Doctor. Good morning, Lucille, and welcome to the Chesterfield Free Clinic. Thank you. Good morning. Hi. Oh, Lucille, this is Ione Redland. She's our uh, receptionist. Ione? How do you spell that? My name? Uh-huh, Ione. Well, I-O-N-E. 
Well, that's real unusual. Well, thank you, and welcome. Thank you. I suppose your uh, your being here makes us official. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's right. With a registered nurse, we're at uh, maximum staff. Well, I'm only here part time, but I don't believe in doing things halfway. But you already knew that about me, didn't you, Doctor? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why I hired you. Part time, you did say, huh? Uh huh. Yeah, I work nights and weekends at the hospital. Uh -huh. I like clinic work, though. It's less red tape. Mm. Looks to me like you've really got a booming business here. Yes, that, that we do. Uh, in fact, why don't I take you out back and I'll show you how we have things don't set up. Don't bother. I was just back there. Well, right, of course. I'll reorganize it as soon as I get a chance. Well, it's such a small lab oh, area that... Oh, it's as good as done, Doctor. Well, good. <laughs> you don't have to orient me, Dr. Phillips. Let's just get on with what you have to do and I'll go back here and have a look at these files. You're sure? Of course I'm sure. You've got patients to take care of. Let's get on with it. Need I say more? <laughs> now, don't you worry about us. You just go on. Keep me in your prayers. <laughs> Let's see, uh, Wanda Culver. Uh, Miss Culver? Step back this way, please. Now, you got everything over here you need to work with? Did you set these up? Yes, I did. Is there anything wrong? No, you did a good job. It's just oh. that these need to go in the inactives. Well, we don't have a file for that. Well, we better get one. Oh. Well, you just go on with what you're doing. I'll be right back. Well, if you were expecting Benny's at the hospital, huh? Oh, I know. Uh, he should be back soon, though. I have an appointment with Dr. Diedrichson today in Fairmont, and he's going to drive me there after his therapy. Oh. Well, I hope you weren't planning to uh, help out today because I've got all the help I can take right now. Nurse Figgins? Yes. Ben told me about her. I mm. didn't know this was her first day. <laughs> <laughs> never on time. Oh, the throbbing. Oh, maybe if I sit down. What is your bad. eye? Oh, Vicky, it's been like this all morning. I, th I thought I'd never get in here. Is there something I can do? No. How about some ice? No, look, it's okay. It's all right. I just don't know how I'm going to be able to read all this. Okay, listen. I was going to process these permits. They're okay, and I signed them. Why don't you... Stamp them, and then you could distribute the copies afterwards. I will try to make a dent in some of this. Okay, Vicki, I really appreciate it. Sure. Um, Vicki? Yeah? Would it be too much of an imposition if I moved in with you uh, after my house is sold, you know, just until the money comes through? Uh... Nancy. Well, Vicki, please, come on. It won't be a problem. You know, I, I won't be a burden, really. Okay, I guess so, but how long do you think this is? Well, I, I, uh, never mind about it, Nancy. It'll be okay, all right? Hi. What do hey. you have for me today? Nothing. I need a permit for a parking garage. Prescott's building parking garages, huh? Yeah, that's where the old Regal Theater used to be. Okay. So, Nancy, how's it going? Fine. How's it going with you, Peter? Nancy? What happened to your eye? Oh, I had a little accident. Is it um, black? Oh, yeah, yeah. And green and purple. What, have Vicky give it to you for not doing enough work? <laughs> Very funny, Peter. I, um... I want to tell you something. Yes, honey. What is it, Laurie? I envy you. Why would you say a thing like that? Well, because you just know how to work with people and they like you, I can tell. Oh, that's a very nice compliment coming from somebody as loved as you are. Oh, maybe I used to be. Used to be? No. Laurie, come on. No, I mean, I know people care about me, my family and you and all, but 
I'm just not the way I used to be with people, that's all. Oh, well, you have to realize, honey, you're still recovering from a very serious traumatic situation. I mean, I... Oh, there'll be times when you'll get back to, you know, enjoying folks like you used to. You're coming along fine, sweetheart. Ione? Yes? Um, there's something I want to ask you. Laurie, is something wrong? No, I'm fine. It's a Carla. Is she all right? Carla? She's fine. Why would you ask? The baby. I was wondering about her pregnancy. Oh, they're doing beautifully, both of them. <laughs> Thank the Lord. <laughs> oh, I know why you're so interested in babies. You and Ben are expecting to make a little family of your own. It doesn't matter that he's just a child. You ought to train him not to tear out the pictures. Look what he's done to this magazine. Oh, Laurie, yes. excuse me, honey. I want to see if I can't go over here and resolve this situation. Oh, good morning, everybody. Hi, man. Yeah. Things doing okay? Oh, yeah, I'm sweetheart. sorry. Uh, am I late? Right. No, no. I was just having a little chat with Ione. Oh, okay. So, um, how's your hand? Uh, well, it's about the same. Uh, he told me to continue with the grasping exercises to strengthen the muscles, but, well, that's how it is right now. I wonder if anything will ever be the same again. No, I didn't give Nancy the black eye. Although I've thought about it from time to time. Well, that's the story of my life. Everybody wants to dump on Nancy. Oh, Nancy, lighten up. You know I didn't mean that. So who gave you the shiner, Nancy? That's Alone fine. shark. What? I thought you said a muscle man hit you because you wouldn't pay up on your loan. Yeah, that, that's true, and, uh, but um, Babs had hit me first, and, you know, he just did it afterwards, but she did it too. Babs? I think I know a Babs. Yeah, that's the girl that Ben and Lori saw up at Fairmont, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. Yeah, Babs Farley. Yeah, she's a waitress in a restaurant up there. Um, you know, Peter, I've always wanted to know what a good restaurant in, in um, Fairmont was. And uh, where is this place? What's the name? Oh, no, I'm sure there are a lot better ones than this one. They just go there because it's right across from the hospital. Across from the hospital, mm -hmm. huh? How is Lori doing, Peter? Uh, I think she's when, doing... When, when abouts was this, recently? A couple of weeks ago. Oh. Well, anyway, I, I think she's doing better. A lot better, now that she's facing the truth, you know. And I think it helps that Blue Nobles is gone. I bet it does. Yeah. yeah. Uh, look I at, can't imagine. Excuse me a minute. I hate to leave such an interesting conversation, but I have something really important I have to attend to. Nancy, okay? Nancy, can't uh, wait until after, under, after lunch? Uh, no, it really can't, but I'll be back in a jiffy, okay? Bye-bye. There you go. These are the permits for the parking garage. Now, please remind Gil. Okay, I sure will. Hey, not a bad salad you whipped up last night. Mom really appreciated that. Well, thank you. I enjoyed doing it. Yeah. You know what, Peter? I miss having a sense of family, especially since Dad's in North Carolina. Oh, well, you gotta dig up an excuse to go down there and help him on that shopping mall. No, I'm much too busy here, and Gil rarely comes to the office, much less at home, you know? And we hardly ever eat together. <laughs> Sometimes he doesn't even bother to come home. You know, it's really kind of lonely now. I mean, especially since Russ and I aren't seeing each other anymore. Russ hasn't tried to get in touch with you? Well, not recently. But uh, we're going cold turkey. I, I think it's better for both of us. Yeah. Well, hey, don't worry. You're too pretty to be lonely for too long. <laughs> Besides, uh, what am I? Chopped liver? Huh? <laughs> huh? Peter, you're too much. Yeah, no. Hi, boss. <laughs> What do you think you're doing there? It'll look like you're drawing cartoons. Thought you said you're gonna have those sketches done this morning. Kill, don't worry about it. I will. It's still morning. You better. Gil, uh, I got some permits there for you. Parking garage, right here. Good. Yeah. Always goes this way. Build something stupid like a garage, everything's smooth sailing all the way. But then you try to do something important like the Canterbury Project. Nothing goes right. What's the matter? Nothing's the matter. Gil, 
Could I talk to you for a moment, alone? Um, take a break, you two. Now? Hi, Emma. Hi. Do what? Well, how did she get up there? Dirigible. Blimp. Balloon. When was the last time you saw her? Well, look, I'm sorry. If she's that far gone, she's out of my jurisdiction. Thank you. She's in Fairmont. So who is in Fairmont, Miss Lawson? Babs Farley. Good grief, I do a better job at police work than you do. I mean, I can't believe you're asking me who. I'm impressed. Good. Uh, it's, you're quite a sleuth, considering that your main occupation in life is this black eye and Babs Farley. Brubaker, come I mean, I've got uh, 1,200 cases, uh, 36 of which are major felonies. Yeah, well, okay, so this one's solved. Now, can you please get her? Fairmount. Okay. You have any idea where in Fairmount? Yeah, she's a waitress at the restaurant right across the street from the hospital. And what's the name of the restaurant? Um, I don't know, but it's right across the street from the hospital. And uh, what hospital are we speaking of? I don't know. Um, I thought there was only one there. You, you know, it's the one that my niece goes to. You know, Lori Davidson? Lori Martin. Yeah, well, uh, why don't you just call her up and ask her? Your niece goes to Mercy Hospital. Well, good. So you know something then, right? So when will it be? When, when will what be? Look, I would like to have Babs brought to justice, Brubaker. <clears throat> justice, yes. Uh, uh, well, I'll contact the Fairmont Police. Uh, the warrant's already in the computer, and uh, they'll pick her up and transfer her to Kingsley. So, so does this mean that she's going to be arrested? Uh, yes, this means she will be arrested, yes. Arrested, for sure. Well, you know, don't just sit there, call her. I don't make those kind of phone calls when someone's in my office. Well, look, Brubaker, come on. You know, I, we both know what's going on, and I've got to get back to work. How can I make you understand that you are not the only citizen in Kingsley, and the police work isn't for kicks? Now, I promise you I will get to this this morning, but i got some more important things to take care of, all right? Okay, look, you, you promised me this morning? This morning. I promise. Thank you, Miss Lawson. Uh, this morning. Nothing. I think you may be needing that. Is that the only reason you came by? It's a good one. Your driver's license and registration are in there. And my money. What's the matter? Don't you like breaking a 50? I wanted to buy breakfast. It's my privilege, Gil. We're going to get along a lot better once you stop insisting on some preconceived notion of what a woman should or should not be. Yeah, well, I felt like a fool sitting there while you're, you fork out one of your credit cards. Well, I didn't. So it's obviously your problem, isn't it? Amber, Are I... Are you embarrassed because you knew everyone at the King's Arms? No, uh-uh. I just thought it was my pleasure. You know, my treat. I wanted to. Well, that's very noble of you, Gil. But it's my pleasure to have the freedom and independence to do the same. <sighs> Fine. Suit yourself. Thank you. Wait. I'm sure you didn't come by here just to give me my wallet. Now, did you? What do you think? It's obvious. Came by to set things straight, didn't you? Glad you didn't say set things right. We would have wound up in another argument. Right. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you came by. I was going to give you a call, but, uh, I mean, how was I supposed to apologize? 
tell you I'm sorry for throwing my wallet at you and splitting? <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, why don't we get together tonight? Let's go dancing, hmm? Yeah, let's go shake a leg. Come on. Okay. Great. 